Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today I will show you a quick example of this page in Filament. Custom page to just download some file based on some parameters. And this is a new premium project on Filament Examples. So custom Filament page to download Excel report. So if you want the full code, it's available for premium members of filamentexamples.com. But I will show you the main things that you need to know in this video. And this is based on the email I received before Christmas with this question. So the author had an example of HTML code, blade code of form to get CSV or Excel. And at the end it has submit button to download that Excel. So they were asking how to accomplish that in Filament. And we recreated this simple demo project. So a custom page with a form with two fields. Choose the date. For example, let's choose some date and choose some customer. And in the database, there are trades for the customers in the database table, which looks something like this, trades with customer ID. And if I click download here, the CSV file will be downloaded with that specific set of parameters. Here it is, that CSV, I've opened that in the numbers, which I personally hate on Mac, but still, you see that the data is here. So how to do that in Filament? So here's the main thing you need to know. It's a custom Filament page, so extends page called download. It's placed in app Filament pages, so it's not a Filament resource. Then you choose the blade view, filament pages download, for example, and I'll get to that in a minute. And then you provide the form. Form schema is typical to filament, date picker, select. You may add some parameters like min date or max date. Now let's go to blade file, which is this. So we use filament components like X filament panels and X filament panels form to get the same design of filament panel. And then we add live wire thing, wire submit which is method submit of the same filament page. And then we add filament button again using blade components from filament download. And then what happens wire submit calls the submit method from this page, which is here down below. And then we call Excel download from package Laravel Excel with trade export using this form get state, which means all the values from those fields above trade date and customer. And that trade export is a file in app export. So this is a thing from Laravel Excel package. So this is not filament, but what filament passes is array data here with PHP constructor property promotion, I think it's called. And then we have this data inside the same from the form. And that's it. That's basically all you need to know. Nothing else too fancy. For more customizations of that Excel, you should go deeper into documentation of Laravel Excel package. The main thing basically you need to know is how to pass the form data into whatever Excel package with this form get state and also how to build that form with submit pointing to some method in the filament page. What do you think? Would you have done anything differently? Let's discuss in the comments below and see you guys in other videos.